I think we're really coming along. I mean, I think my goal every year as we move from non-conference to conference season is for us to improve. I thought our non-conference schedule was very challenging. Uh, it gave us the opportunity to, um, to be able to learn and grow. And I thought we did a lot of things really well. I think offensively we're playing very well right now. We're starting to really understand our offense, the looks we're, we're looking for, the shot selection we should have. Um, defensively is an area uh, that's very clear. We still need a lot of work. Um, but we're making efforts and we're making strides to be better. I think as a team so far, we've been doing pretty good as far as uh, playing together. And our offense, our defense still need to get better, but that just comes with us learning the new defense and the coaches learning as well. So we're just trying to all get on the same page, but we've still been able to pull through. And I think it's been successful so far because we won more games than we lost. Yeah, I mean, that's my philosophy. I mean, I want to play in non-conference teams that are going to challenge us, that are going to expose our weaknesses, that are going to make us better. And uh, I do think that this, the, the schedule that we played allowed for that. Um, you know, even most recently playing Missouri, who's an excellent team, um, really exposed some weaknesses that we had. Uh, we were able to come back. We were able to watch some of that on film and work over work on it over the last three days. I mean, if you play a team that doesn't challenge you, uh, you don't find out about those weaknesses till you get into conference play, and that's not where you want to be doing that. Yeah, I, I mean, I like the schedule. I don't think we should go out and, like she shouldn't schedule any games that you know like it's a high chance we should win. It should be somewhere even, and maybe the only easy game should be like an exhibition game. But the tough schedule games, I think that's a good challenge for us for another team so we can see our plays and see how other teams might play them and see how we execute against maybe a better defense or a better offensive team. You know, this team has a lot of skill top to bottom and we have a lot of young players that are improving. Um, you look at, we have four players in double figure scoring which is lit, led by Sierra Gregory, who's having uh, a really outstanding season. Um, Lexi Alexander, who has finally come in and played um, consistently and at a very high level that we expected from her. And then you've got Lefty Webster, who a lot of people know about, and Kira Gordon, who have been consistent double score, figure scorers the last couple of years. Um, so those four, you know, obviously lead us tremendously, but uh, Lia Raventos, uh, our freshman point guard, is getting better and better in ter our terms of understanding her role. Uh, Grace Hunter recently has really come on and, and do, playing and doing what we've asked her to do, and, and we've seen rapid improvement from her as well. Yeah, I believe it because in non-conference, like our record, I think we were seven and four. That doesn't matter now. We're zero and zero, so you get like a fresh start. And um, non-conference doesn't really matter because that doesn't get you a conference championship. Like those games don't count for if you're in the conference. So these games matter because you're trying to get your conference championship. I've been asked that before, but um, that stuff really—I mean, it's weird, but that stuff really doesn't bother me. Bother me. I just think, I mean, I think it's like a great um, acknowledgement for them to like think that I'll be preseason all conference, but. For me as a player, I just go out and play and I just want us to win. So I don't have to score, I don't care if that takes away that, okay, I might not make it, it's okay, but I just want us to win however we can. If that means I have to score or don't score, as long as we got a W next to the Charlotte, then I'm fine. Well, I think Old Dominion is a very dangerous team. I don't think in non-conference they've been able to really get into their rhythm. Uh, but at any point in time that they do get into their rhythm, they're very dangerous. They're skilled at a lot of positions. They have one of the best players in the league in Jenny Sims. Um, and they execute their ball screen offense and their quick hits very, very well. And so, you know, that's obviously a concern for us because defensively we haven't been great, um, you know, as we get to this part of the season. And so uh, we've really challenged our players to continue to work on that. Uh, we've got to be great in our ball screen defense against them. We have to understand where Jenny Sims is at all point in time. And we have to be a better rebounding team. I mean, if we're able to do that, then we can get on to offense, which is, you know, where we're excelling right now. Yeah, I mean, it's been fun to hear feedback from um, fans that have come to our non-conference games. Everybody has told me that this is the most fun uh, team to watch uh, that they've seen during my tenure here. And I would agree with that. This is a great group of young ladies. They work extremely hard. They're fun to watch. They score a lot of points, which fans obviously always like that. Um, and we've played well at home and so I really hope that you know Niner Nation and our community will start to recognize that and come out and give us a chance because I think if you come and watch us you'll be really really surprised um, if you haven't seen us before about how much fun this team is to watch they work together really well and they play for each other and they play hard for Niner Nation and for Charlotte across their chest. It'll be great to see like when you score and everybody gets loud and all of that it just it'll just be great if everybody could just come out and support us.